Look, I, I don't think that... What do you make, then, of this whole Trump thing? Because I thought he was single-payer guy, too. Oh, he was. I, I, and, and to his credit, in the first debate, he basically doubled down on it. I, I don't, there's a weird disconnect between the things he says and the supporters that he has that I think are one of the reasons why so many Republicans have said they can never vote for him because he's got these positions. Look, he is um, someone that is ultimately probably fairly destructive to our country in that the, the, this hate, the xenophobia that he's, the nativism that he's revealing that exists in the population, I think now thinks it's okay to be that way because they see this fairly successful guy doing it. I also think there's a certain phoniness to him. I mean, he hasn't been a particularly successful businessman. He inherited a bunch of money, lost a, lost a lot of it. Um, he's basically a branding guy. He puts his name on things, and now no one wants his brand on anything. Can you imagine having a golf course in Dubai that wants to have Trump on it at this? Or, or you imagine a hotel in, in Latin America that would want to have Trump's name on it? So he's burned that business to the ground. So I think he's basically a phony. And I, I, if he's a Republican nominee, I think he'll be easy to defeat. Um, uh, so I, I, I think he's basically the worst kind of reflection of the way some people approach politics, which is a chance just to express their outrage and their, their angst.